if you guys are new here, remember to subscribe, to turn on those post notifications, and also like the video, guys, as it helps me out a lot. Thank you, guys. Yo, what's going on, guys? It's Mario here, aka Mercers. Bring you guys a brand new video today. And we're going to be talking about today, in today's video, we're going to be talking about how you maximize your kills, like how you get 10 plus kills, or how I usually do in my videos. Um, so, it really depends on where you land and the skill too, skill as well, skill is a big part of it. But, um, if you know, if you know the normal basics of this game, you know that Tilted Towers is one of the most populated areas in the game. So is Pleasant Park, and uh, those are the two mostly populated right now. But, uh, yeah, we're gonna see if, uh, we're gonna see how many kills I can get this game. And I'm, I'm also gonna be talking about how I did it, um, if you should go for the kill or not. Um, if you should snipe them or not, how, if, when you should build and when you shouldn't build, um, and stuff like that. So, starting off, we're gonna go here for the, we're gonna have to get the, the weapon as fast as we can. And, uh, I suggest you land in an unpopulated area in Tilted Towers or wherever you go, like we're gonna go Pleasant Park. So, we start off with the weapon here. I usually go here because not that many people come here, like this guy. This guy's just trying to get that. We already have one kill going off. Okay, and I haven't done my challenge yet, but I'm gonna do it sooner or later. Even even if you're just trying to be nice, like if even if you want to be nice, try not to be nice, because the more uh, the more kills you get, the more XP you get. So we loot up. Make sure you drink those minis. Um, and also, if you can do whatever you want with like the way you set up your guns and stuff, it's not what this video is about. How you set up your guns. This video is about how you maximize your kills. So at the beginning of the game, make sure you have all the materials that you need. Make sure you have you you have all the weapons that you need, all the ammo. I know you start off with nothing, but you have to uh, like build it up a bit, and then you kill one person, you grab their loot, and then so on. Same thing with the rest of the people. And this is where skill comes into the uh, thing, into the area. You need to be good at Fortnite. I'm not saying for the newbie players out there. I'm just saying you have to be like decent at the game in order for you to get kills. If you're not good at the game, you're not going to get any kills. But I'm not teaching you guys how to play the game today. I'm just teaching you how to how you maximize your kills. So right here, make sure you have materials so you can fight. Uh, this, as you guys can see, I'm getting my materials right now. I'm uh, make sure I have. Oh, and also another thing, um, for chests and stuff, make sure you go for the chest at correct times. Like, don't go for the chest when there's a guy right next to you. That's like not a perfect time. Like when there was, when there's nobody next to you, it's calm. That's when you go for chest. See, like there's a guy on top of me right now. Thing is, should we go for the kill or not? The answer is yes. We should go for the kill. Cause it's a one on one, there's nobody else nearby. If there is somebody else nearby, he's not gonna go, he's not gonna just go for him. Like this guy, he's scared right now. He's pooping his pants because like, I don't know where to go. And then you just go for the kill like that. And I may I make it look easy, but it's it's really not easy. Actually, it's it's okay, it's not that hard. But you just have to practice. Remember guys, practice is perfect. Practice makes perfect, my bad. <laughs> I'll get through. Okay. So we already have two kills right off the bat of the game. Not really right off the bat, but it's like already in the middle of the game. Make sure you stick. You get more materials on the way. On the way. Alright guys. So we're getting back into this. Um I was kind of doing something, but see when stuff happens and you gotta go AFK for a bit. You gotta maximize your kills. You're trying to get like at least ten kills. As long as you have at least five at the big by by the end of the game, you should be fine by the end of the game. And as you guys can see right now, there's two people near me. The thing is, should we hide or should we go for the kills? Um, I suggest you go for one of the kills. Oh no! You go for one of the kills. Wait for the other guy to come. Okay. How did that affect me? Okay, this game is broke. But that's what cares right now. That's not what matters. Go for 
one of the kills, like this guy. Okay? Then we heal up. We have to heal up. Uh, right after we get the fight, we have to heal up. Don't go for the loot. If you need the loot to survive, then you do it. And then after, you go for the second kill. Like this guy right here, this guy has no damn boyfriend. Right? Now he does, I have a Okay, hold up. Get him right there. Right there, boom. Alright, now he's done. Now we loot both bodies, and if somebody else is rushing you, hopefully I get an example of that right now. Come on, let's switch. Okay, I'm um, getting spammed. Hold up, guys, hold up. Okay. So that's it. I know there's another guy because he was sniping over here like a bit ago. Okay, there he is. There he is. He's coming. You guys hear him? He's launched by him. So, when another guy is rushing you, like right now, or he's not rushing you, but if you were to rush me, uh, that's when you build. You build for your life. That's, that's basically how it goes. And then, um, so right there, let's see how many kills is that. That's already four kills, guys. Four kills. So, we heal up from earlier. We, alright, and then like, let's say you're getting pushed, like right now. You just heal up, doesn't matter. Even if he's coming at you, heal up still. And until he's at you, that's when you start building. You build for your life. When he's done, when he gets lazy of trying to kill you, that's when you heal again. But right now, this guy's. I think it's two people. Let's see how much this one guy. You come out on him when he's least expecting it. Like how I did right there. Oh. Okay. Oh. Alright, and there's another guy rushing me. Since you took no damage, you go for the other guy. You juke him, or you don't have to get him. You just, you just go for the kill. Like that. Okay, that's already six kills in the tower, guys. This is why I come to the tower. So a lot of people are here, and they usually wait till everybody's dead and then they come out. But obviously, I'm not dead, so. Um, they go for the people when they're low. But if you take no damage, there's more people here. But if you take no damage in those fights, you're good for that another fight. Like, it's pretty simple. See how this guy's rushing me right now? I'm good right now. I just gotta heat up with one bandage and that's pretty much it. And I'm ready for like... I'm ready for this fight. And you gotta not be scared. Don't even pay attention to the skin. If he starts outbuilding you, you can destroy the bottom. Or you can go from behind. Or you can outbuild him. It's, it's really simple. I'm, okay, I'm gonna teach you guys a technique. Okay, so if you get the high ground on him, you obviously keep the high ground. Okay, if he's double mapping like that, destroy this, and then get the high ground again. Like that. Now you can. Okay, took the high ground again. You take it back. You shoot him. Scared right now. This guy's pooping his pants. And then you go back down. Go back down, guys. It doesn't matter. Okay. Go back down. Now just wait down here. Camp for him. Because he's gonna come back down sooner or later. He doesn't know where you're at. So he's right there. Okay. Maybe this guy knew where I was at, but usually they don't know where you're at. Okay. Remember when I said outbuild this guy or go for your guy? Yeah. This is when you do it. Okay, and then you can also put a trap there like I did, but, you know, that's kind of like an expert move. But, in that situation, I could have either, I could have either, I could have either kept on building, or I could have done what I just did right now. Um, take it to another level and try to kill him. With the risk of dying, that's when you risk it all. But right there, I risk it all because I'm usually, I usually know how to, how to handle those situations. But, if you're low on health after a fight... Make sure you remember all the spots where you fought people and you go for you go back to that loot. Like right now I'm about to go back to the alright, uh, I'm gonna have 14 bandages. I'm going back to the 14 bandages, see? Right here. You go back to your loot. Don't forget. Because if you forget and you need heals or whatever, you just go back to the body. Or if you're trying to run away from the situation, you run back, you get your stuff, and you go. So right here I'm just gonna use these bandages. 
And look, we already have seven kills. Now imagine the end game. If you go for the rest of the kills, um, you could have I don't know, you max five. You can have like I don't know, let's see. Um, if usually probably like twelve. You probably have like twelve if you go for not not if you go for all of them, but if you go for most of them. I'm gonna lag again. I don't know why. I'm gonna drink this third. Come on, lag. Don't do me right now. My build is kind of off today. But if you guys aren't that good at building, it's okay. Just make sure. You don't need the high ground a lot of times. You can just leave the fight. Go back down, shoot it down. Even if even if you think it's a girl move or whatever you want to call it, that's okay. Alright, so you guys see how this guy's right here? If he doesn't. Okay, he sees me. I was about to say. I was about to say, if, if he doesn't see me, don't go for the fight. Because now you're at the edge of circle. You can people that can fight you from behind. And you don't want that. You're like, I'm in a bad spot right now. And if he's shooting at you like that, if he's shooting at you and you're at, you have a high ground, um, make sure to shoot at his back. Like that. So now he's scared. He's panicking. He's on the high ground. Boom. Dead. That's, that's already 8 kills. But usually I don't go for those kind of kills because... I'm the edge of circle and everybody can hear me, the whole world can hear me. And then I get scared and then I die. But, luckily for me, I, there was no people nearby right now. And as you can hear, there's having there's a uh, people fighting right now. I'm pretty sure it's at these buildings, but let's find out right now. If people are fighting, like these two guys, we wait for one of them to die, and then you go for them. Because they're going to be low, and you can go for the kill. Over right here, we just go up, we just wait. We get close first because we need to kill him right after. We get close, but we don't engage. Okay, this guy died with an SMG right now. Now, this other guy, he's he's looting his body most likely. Or he's cheating. This guy's smart. He'll be healing right now. Okay, he's running because he knows I'm here. I hit him for 33. He's going to build for his life right now. Then, we get the high ground on him. We, you know, we just kill him right here, like that. Okay, so <clears throat> as I did right there, as I waited for the person to come to me. Okay, I'm gonna do two minutes. I waited for them to come. I mean, I waited for the, for them to kill each other, and then I attacked him when he was low. But I had to get close in order for me to do that. So if you guys are gonna attack on someone, make sure you guys are close and ready to fight. So if you guys are not. They're, the person's gonna be able to heal, they're gonna be able to um, out, they're gonna be able to like make a little base, a little hut. You gotta be there right when they finish dying. Oh, look at this guy, he's better. Look at that, I have 9 kills right now. 9 kills. So, uh, if we gotta get a hilltop, there's probably gonna be people watching me. So, let's go on like on the side of the hill. And, uh, we, we don't need a build, we can just run, it's okay. But if you have a launch pad or a bounce pad or something, you know, you can use that, but I don't have it. Oh wait, actually I do have a launch pad. But that's okay. I don't I don't want to waste it. And make sure you guys keep or have enough materials for whenever you need to fight. If you have no materials, you're gonna die. Like I'm letting you know right now. Materials in this game is the most important thing you need to know. You need to have no material. You need to have in order for you to survive. Alright, alright, so right here, since I don't have high ground, I'm gonna get high ground, I'm gonna go to the top, and I'm just gonna stay up here. Right here at the end of the game, since you already have 9 kills, and you really don't need to get any more, but I'm gonna get more, obviously. But, when you don't really need more, you can just cap it out, wait a bit, until uh, the end of circle comes, and then go for the final kills. Or, you could fight people and have a chance at them. Right here is usually when I just wait off the game, I just wait for people. I don't really engage right now. Unless they engage on you first. Or, actually, no. Don't engage on like the end game stuff. If people are engaging on you, if you have high ground and you're fine, just outbuild them, it's okay. You don't need to kill them. Because they're gonna be, you're probably gonna be shot by somebody else. Or you're probably gonna get a corner. Like, there's probably a guy in here. Oh yeah, there is. Okay, so I got him luckily. I thought it was gonna die. But luckily I got him. 
Don't don't do that, guys. I I messed up right there. That was my mistake. Because of that mistake, I took out. I took damage. So don't don't attack people that on end game. I should say because you have the you risk yourself at dying. See, like that guy all the way over there. You guys see him? Um. People like that, you can just shoot at them, snip it, but don't keep your head out too long because you're gonna die. You're gonna get sniped, most likely. Like this guy, just a couple of snippet shots just to scare him off. And then if you have a launch pad or something, place it down and get ready to get to the next circle. Also, another tip, guys. Um, <laughs> I just read one of my comments. <laughs> Alright, so um, another tip is uh, stay in a one by one or in, like, in a little tower at the end of games like how this guy was doing, but I rushed him from my top, I got high ground, that's how I got him. But uh, make sure you have materials in order for you to do it. Make sure nobody's around you. Uh, make sure you're like in a kind of at the edge of the circle and you have something to get out. Like this launch pad, like I have it, it's my backup. Let's leave right now. That's, that's how I know I'm going to be safe. So right here, what do you do from right here, right? You try to get as much high ground as you can from being at the bottom. You don't you do not want to be at the bottom in this situation. If you're at the bottom, like that guy up there, he's lucky. He has a high ground. Also wait for the circle to come in really close, like right here. I think I all the way up here, all these guys right here, they're lucky. Wait, actually no they're not. Because they need to come down. So if you what you do here, if there's no high ground to get to. You hide in bushes, not bushes, I'm an idiot. Uh, you hide like in bushes, or you can, if you see someone that's by themselves and they're outside of circle, like this guy, this guy's really scared of them. Just make sure you push them, make sure they don't get to you, make sure they don't get in the circle. If they get in the circle, wait for them. If you wait for them, like this guy, is he in the circle? See, I waited for him and I got him. Okay, he's really scared right now, guys. Go, uh, go, go on the other side of him. Oh, and that's another thing. You guys have to make sure you reload him. Make sure you guys are reloading. Oh, see, that was my fault right there. I don't have any ammo to use on this guy. Make sure you get high ground. Boom, dead. And also guys, another tip is if, oh no. Okay, see like that? This is why I don't like fighting the enemy because other people want to shoot at you like that guy. Another tip, if somebody has high ground on you and they're about to peek you like that guy did, um, pre-fire the shot. So if you pre-fire it and they peek, um, they die, like you get them. And then they go back. And then you put a, a or, or, or actually, if you don't want to pre-fire and you get scared, Please watch, I'm gonna show you guys in the map. So if this guy's right here, right? Are you right here? Place a thing like that on top of you, on top of them so they have thing and then you go like that, boom, right there. But if you guys aren't that skilled yet, you guys can just put a little platform on top of them and then um so they can be scared. Alright, so endgame is coming. I have 11 kills. I've maximized my kills. If you guys wanna go for more, go ahead. But if you guys want to win the game and stay low, it's it's all up to you. It's all up to the person. Like right here, you go for go for this, you'll be fine in the circle. It's only gonna be a little bit, a little bit of damage. It's better to take that shield than no taking the shield. So right here, the, everybody's gonna be close. So if you see someone, build. You guys have to build. Like like there's no option. Like this guy right here. Like you build right after. I took heavy damage right there because I didn't build it fast enough. Okay, if the you hear RPG coming, make sure to be make sure to build right away. Make sure also if you take damage to um make sure to be alright, is that this guy? Uh make sure don't don't choke you guys. I know you guys get scared. It's kind of scary for your first game or just game in general. 
Don't try not to choke it. Sometimes you may choke it. If you do, it's all good. You still have you still have infinite more rounds to play. But if you're being pushed hard like this, well, how did that take damage on me? I was so retarded. Wow. I'm scared now. When people have you in this situation, you're supposed to be scared. Like I, I, everybody gets scared in this game. I know I get scared. So, but you just gotta calm down. Make sure you know where circle is going. Like the circle is going that way. Go that way over there. And uh, just let the other two fight it out. If the, if you're the one that's being fought at. Um, try to do your best to kill the guy. Remember, take height advantage and then kill the guy. If you can't, it's okay. You have more infinite rounds. But as right here, as I'm about to continue to go to the next circle, make sure you're already approaching the next circle. If the other guy's trying to get you, don't worry. You, you could always build. And then you wait for them. Right here, how I'm waiting for this guy. Make sure you go behind you too if you don't want to get shot. Oh, look. Okay, let them fight. That's what you do. Right now, you let them fight. You take, you take back, um, you take circle, take circle. Then, you wait for them to come back, you go behind them, you take the shots, and you get the win. Alright guys? It's not, it's not that hard, is it guys? Look, I got the maximize, oh, drop. I, I maximized my kills to 13. Uh, so hopefully... It's not that hard for you guys if it is hard. Um, remember, practice is key. Uh, obviously, I'm better at this game than like normal average players because I've played a lot. Like I've been playing since October 7th. And um, yeah, that was just my tips and tricks video. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure you drop a like, uh, subscribe, and turn on those post notifications. And until next.